Hello and welcome back to Stein's Gate. You know, uh, hallucinations and stuff, am I right? When I peek at the occult board, I find posts in multiple threads from someone claiming to be John Titer. Wait, John Titer is back? Uh oh. John Titer appeared on American BPS ten years ago, claiming to be a time traveler. He claimed to have traveled from the year 2036 in order to obtain an old computer, the IBM 5100. He claimed his claim started quite the storm among the BBS denizens. Titer also made several accurate, if fragmentary, predictions of future events. The start of the Iraq War and the spread of Creutzfeldt Jacob disease, for example. Hmm. Interesting. To prove he was from the future, he explained the principles behind his time machine and provided pictures of its operation manual. But after about four months, he disappeared without ever revealing his identity. At one point, his predictions gained popularity even in Japan. Yes, he certainly did get some things right. But on the other hand, he missed several others. Some of his posts contradicted each other too. That's why, to this day, most people doubt his authenticity as a time traveler. So, after ten years of silence, that same John Titer is now on a Japanese BBS. Unlikely. Ridiculous, it's obviously a troll. First of all, John Titer is American, yet now he's posting on that channel in Japanese. Let's take a look at his posts, shall we? Name John Titer. Da 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 da. Uh, I don't expect you to believe that I came from the year 2036. I see that everyone would like to know more about my time machine. Time travel technology was developed at CERN. They completed the first time machine in 2034. Lol. Lol. More details on time machine. They sell time machines, how much do they cost? I've got about a hundred million yen saved, give me a one. Okay, okay. CERN has a monopoly on time machines, not even the most powerful nations on Earth can acquire one, to say nothing of private citizens. CERN used their time machine for power. By 2036, the world has become a dystopia. There is no war, no conflict. However, there is a false peace founded on the complete eradication of liberty. What does lull mean? Why did you come to this time? Was the Akiva satellite your crash you're doing? Like, guys, Titerson doesn't understand that channel lingo. Let's keep it simple, okay? If you know what I mean. Get a trip code, asshole. Okay. I came here to change my present, in other words, your future. My mission is to destroy CERN's dystopia and restore freedom to the world. This is a wonderful time you're living in, everyone is free. But you will lose it all in just 20 short years. It is vitally important that you understand the future, what the future has in store. What is the trip code? I might get one if you tell me what it is. Um, you said CERN. Only CERN has time machines. You have a time machine. That must mean you're working for CERN. Therefore, your goal can't be to destroy CERN's dystopia. You're a fraud. What's dystopia? How can CERN take over the world in just 20 years? Look at the Middle East. You've been reading too much manga if you think those guys can get those guys to stop killing each other. Who asked you to change the future? You're trying to play God. If they're promising world peace, then I, for one, become my welcome my new CERN overlords. My time machine is a prototype reverse engineer from stolen CERN technology. Compared to their time machine, its capabilities are quite limited. In 2036, the world is ruled by a single all-powerful government body. They control every aspect of our lives, deciding what we'll eat, where we'll live, and who we'll marry. There's no privacy and no choice. Anyone who dares oppose them is eliminated. There are no trials. Sort of 1984-esque. Oh, by the way. I just picked up that, um, new game, um, 
what's it called, Orwell. Probably gonna play it on this channel, it looks pretty good. 1984 base, it's like future sci-fi hacky stuff. Might be fun, might be a good time. Uh, in movies and small stuff, changes to the past, causes huge changes, time to the future. You've already changed the present by coming here. What happens if you make unexpected changes to the future? Blank certain rules the world. I don't even know what certain is, lol, but he's a troll. So if we find his dad and kill him, then this time traveler, <laughs> the Mal, will never be born and you won't have to listen to this bullshit, am I right? I want to know if you can make your past self. Can you self sassed <laughs> You're talking about the so-called grandfather paradox. That's been debunked. This world line has a divergence of 0.57124% compared to the world line I came from. That number looks important. Killing my father would alter divergence, creating a world line where my father is dead. However, it would not erase this world line. I would go on existing. CERN is a particle physics research institution that hasn't changed in 2036. It's possible to meet your past self. The prevailing theory in my time is that nothing would happen. I, however, haven't met my past self. If you're really a time traveler, then fucking prove it. Post time fix the fuck off. The many worlds interpretation low, slow down, bro. Research institution taking up the world, low what? Hey, it could happen. They've got all the knowledges, alright? All of them. Uh, I do not feel the need to prove that what I am, that what I say I am, I am only posting these messages on a whim. My mission comes first. What are world lines? Can you meet yourself in another world line? What happens if you do? Late reply, trip code is a way to identify posters. But yeah, some more left here. Roll back pedaling. World lines are like infinite number of rivers flowing in parallel. Along the way, they are constantly branching out into new world lines. This is called divergence. For example, whether or not you post this message post on this message board has practically no effect on this world line's divergence. But if you were murdered, let's say, then divergence would change. However, it would only change by about 0.000002%, if that. A single human being's death is not terribly significant on a global scale. Wars, disasters, acts of terrorism, and other events that cause widespread death and destruction have much greater effect on divergence. Thanks for telling me about trip codes. I'll make sure to use this one from now on. It's starting to get tired. Let's pick up again tomorrow. It's been fun talking to everybody. That was interesting. You know what? Good addition to the game. I like it. Looks like they already made an archive of these threads. Yes, it does. Of course, there have been sites dedicated to John Titer for years now. This post closely resembles what the original Titer wrote ten years ago. I've read one of the books on Titer, that's how I know. This new John Titer is clearly an imposter. Hold on. Yeah, he's 
clearly an imposter. There are many tighter fanatics on that channel. He's not exactly a household name in Japan, but I doubt anyone would fall for this level of trolling. As I continue to read, however, I find the response the opposite of what I expected. Everyone is accepting this time traveler as if this were his first appearance. Nobody has even mentioned his appearance ten years ago. Finding this strange, I try posting a retort, but everyone ignores me. What the hell? You can figure this out if you do a little research, people. Come on. There's the original John Titer Red Archive in English, and plenty of Titer blogs in Japanese. I entered John Titer's name into a search engine. Twelve matches. Wait, only twelve? Moreover, all twelve are about the current Titer's postings on that channel. I can't find a single trace of Titer from ten years ago. Bizarre. This just can't be. I searched for information on Titer a few years ago. Back then, I got tens of thousands of hits. Is this search engine filtered? I try searching on another site just to make sure, but it gives the same result. What is this madness? Oh! I got it! I figured it out! He's in a different world line where the original Titer didn't... This is the original Titer, but he came back ten years later than the previous world line that he was... I get it! I get it! This is so good! <laughs> it feels like I've stumbled onto another plane of reality. Could this be another organization conspiracy? These past two days, I've been surrounded by nothing but chaos and confusion. I'll call Daru. He'll know about Titer for sure. After all, I've talked to him about Titer before. No, you haven't! That was in a different world line! Oh. I only vaguely remember the details of that conversation. But I'm positive the conversation happens. He's not gonna remember. He's not gonna know. He can't know, because he never knew. He's new. By the time I dig my phone out of my bag, I no longer feel like making the call. Good. Good, he wouldn't understand. No. No. Don't send emails. No. Instead, I send him an email on the way back to the lab. He replies with his location. Don't send an email. It got all broken and fragmented last time. Bye, my queen. He means May Queen. God damn it, we're going to a maid cafe. Duh, there's a regular there. Apparently 3D cat maids are a thing are his thing too. May Queen plus Nat Yan squared is only a three minute walk from the lab. I don't want to go here. I really don't. Coming from Kuramai Bashidori, I left at. <clears throat> Take a left at Suma Koisaka Karasing and you'll find it. That's where I'm headed now. It's usually busy in Akiva during summer break, but now it's even busier because of the Radikan incident. The area was blocked off yesterday, but it doesn't look like they could keep the main road closed for two days straight. I haven't seen a s I haven't seen a single police officer today. But the Radicon building still seems off limits. The entrance shutters are closed shut and sealed with yellow police tape. We're here now in Akihabara the day after the unexplained satellite crash. The police barricade has been lifted, and a tremendous number of people have gathered in front of the station. 
墜落した人工衛星がどこの国のものなのかについては現在も調査中とのことで詳しいことが分かるまで撤去ができない状態です。The satellite's origin is still under investigation. We're told that it can't be removed until the authorities have more information. See you tonight at 7. 警察の発表によりますと、爆発などの危険は今のところないということですが、秋葉原を訪れた買い物客や地元商店街の関係者からは不安の声が上がっています。According to the police, the satellite does not appear to be dangerous. However, tourists and local business owners have raised concerns. The media has dozens of cameras set up outside the police line. As usual. And there are nearly twice as many onlookers as reporters, enough to fill the entire street with people. Everyone's aiming their phone cameras at the satellite like object. So many people. Living in Akiva, you would get used to crowds and big events, but a gathering of this size is unusual. I wonder when they'll get rid of that thing. I hope it doesn't explode or something. Hey, you never know, man. You never know. They've been letting people back into the area, so I guess there's no danger. It's not radioactive or anything. Still, considering its unknown origin, I'm surprised there isn't more security. Don't worry, it's just an old Russian satellite. It'll be fine. Today, like always, otakus are shopping for doujinshi, import games, electronics, or whatever strikes their fancy. Aside from the scene at Radicon, it's the same as any other day. But I still don't understand what I saw yesterday. I've half accepted that the mass disappearance was just my imagination. Maybe I've become unable to distinguish reality from fantasy. Like the media likes to say about teenagers these days. Those damn kids these days, always on their electronics and playing their video games, unable to.、Uh, virtual reality, augmented reality, people breaking Pokemon Go. Yeah, that sort of thing. With that thought in mind, I return my gaze to the street. And there in front of me stands a woman holding her phone in front of her face. Oh shit, she took a picture. She took, she took a picture. Her phone was clearly pointed at me. Is she part of the organization? I tried to cover my face, but not quickly enough. She got me. I turn around just to make sure that she wasn't pointing it at someone behind me, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Uh huh. Um. Nice checkered belt buckle, lady. Y you see, I could get behind your fashion sense. I understand this. She's still staring at her phone. Without even glancing at me, she turns around and points her phone at some other pedestrian. Maybe she's just taking photos of everyone at the scene and not just me. But still, I need to have a word with her. The organization is after me, so I can't risk that photo getting out. I will go for a few more minutes. Wait, wait, wait! Wait. Wait, wait. Was that him speaking in English? <laughs> yes, lady. She doesn't turn around. Is she so engrossed in her photography that she doesn't even notice me? Notice me, senpai! Or did she not catch my magnificent native level English? It was. It was. Jolt! So the k a t e Kamino's got the Anata! Mate! Mate! Hey, you with the phone camera. Wait, please wait. <laughs> yeah? 
She turns back, finally noticing me. Senpai noticed us, and we'll figure out her response next time. Bye.